Good evening, everyone. This is Sanjana Sinha from Simaj College, and you are watching online classes. From the English department, today I bring to you formal and informal vocabulary. So let us take a look without wasting any time. Let's get going. The first word which you see is informally speaking, a lot of, like I have a lot of books to read. I have a lot of work to do. A lot of or many. But when you are, when you want to speak formally, you speak, I have numerous, I have n number of job to attend to. I have numerous work to do. Numerous or a lot of informally speaking and numerous. The next word is anyways. When you say anyways, okay, anyways, let's stop the discussion and let us start the class. It means when you want to put a discussion to an end and you want to go ahead with what is in your plan, Said, so, okay, fine. Anyways, that's it. So nevertheless, let us start the class again. So instead of using anyways, you just say nevertheless. The third word is block. You block or you undermine. The next word is breakdown. It was a breakdown because of the power, okay? It failed, it collapsed. When something doesn't go well, it breaks down. But then you can use it collapsed or it failed. You can still use breakdown, just the option of speaking a little more technical. Breakup. You break up some task, you disin disintegrate. The next word is bring in. Bring in means to introduce some new ideas. A lot of change was brought into, a lot of change was introduced, change being introduced and being brought in. The next set of word is can. He can do this, he can do that. I can continue with the class or the word is, is incapable of. The person is capable of or incapable of either ways. He can do it, he cannot do it. The new manager is capable of handling all the affairs of the office means yes he can do it in simple ways he can do this work and officially he is capable of handling whatever the task is assigned to him when you come back from some somewhere you come back you get back the formal english is return Let's come back to work. Let's return to work. Come or go in, you enter. You enter, you go inside, or you exit when you go outside. He entered with a smile on his face. He came with a smile and he entered without any hesitation. Deal with, he can deal with unusual matters or very difficult problems he can handle. Anyways, you can use deal with also and you can use handle. He handled the problems wisely. The next word is enjoyment. Enjoyment, you all like to enjoy yourself. The enjoyment and the merrymaking. 
so the enjoyment was there in the party and the official language is the gratification gratification if you're talking about enjoyment at the party you're sure going to have a great deal of and similarly the gratification was well expected faithfulness faithful somebody who is loyal somebody who is faithful faithfulness the fidelity the faithfulness of the workers in a company the fidelity of the owner and the workers put together so faithfulness and fidelity the next word is find out find out what's going on discover what happened it was found out that the student had left the mo mobile in the classroom it was discovered that the student had left the mobile in the classroom now you can say i am talking from xyz company i'm talking on on the behalf of you can get get good marks right or you can obtain good marks the informal language is to get in touch with get in contact with get in touch with me when you come to patna contact me when you come to patna when you given given me to surrender you given okay i given fine you yield to your submission you submitted yourself he gave in to the proposal is he said yes so he yielded the next word is give the go ahead it means he is author authorized okay you can sign the checks you can take the call so you have been given the authority so to give the go ahead means to authorize someone okay, yes now you have the powers to do a certain task the next word is go against they all went against the motion to go against means they all opposed to the motion you go against someone you oppose against someone okay you want to go ahead with it so let us get ahead with it or formally let's proceed these words will help you understand what formal and informal is though i would like to suggest why don't you make sentences with each one to begin with you can go back and start making sentences start writing formal english but yes be very careful when you are using these words words don't count unless and unless and until it is written in the great correct grammatical order so what you can do is like a lot of informally speaking i have a lot of friends back home i have a lot of friends back home i have many friends at home simple english simple sentences a lot of friends a lot of books to read a lot of new ideas and try using numerous i have numerous task to attend to 
numerous happenings. You need numerous vocabulary to speak or write correct English or good English. Nevertheless, let us move ahead. Anyways, let's talk about something else. So what I want you to do is take each word and start writing, start making sentences. Try to write simple sentences, join that with and, but, join it. Join two ideas, two phrases, two sentences to make one. And for writing skills, to improve writing skills, you really need to read. The first thing you need is to read, to read, understand, and then write. But when you're speaking, you have to be very, very, very careful about the pronunciation. So listen to the words once again and repeat. Numerous, numerous, a lot of. Nevertheless, anyways, undermine, block, break down, fail, collapse, break up, disintegrate, bring in, to introduce, can, is capable of, come back, the return. The comeback was final. The return was final. He came back in an hour. He returned in an hour. He entered, he came. You may come inside, you go in, but then you may enter. He dealt with all the problems intelligently. He handled all the problems beyond expectation. It means he handled it in a very, very, very good way. Enjoyment, gratification. If you think of enjoyment, if you really think of enjoyment, what can be better than, a, than good music? Enjoyment for life, the gratification for life is a good family, good friends, good music, and of course, a book to read. Faithfulness, being faithful is something so beautiful. If you are faithful, faithfulness matters a lot. Fidelity as well. Find out what's happening. Discover what's going on. So you can speak on behalf of your company. Oh, I'm speaking from Simmage College. I'm speaking on behalf of Simmage College. You can get something, you can get a raise, you can obtain, you can get good marks, you can obtain good marks, get in touch with, get in, stay in the contest, stay connected, contact, get in touch with me, get in touch with your friends. Contact your friends. Give in to yield. You must not give in to temptations. Give the go ahead signal. It means you have been authorized. I can give you the go ahead signal. Okay, you can start your class. You can organize, you can coordinate. You can form a communication club. Tell me what you want to do and I'll be there. Go against to oppose someone or something. You can go against a plan or a program. You can oppose someone or something. Go ahead, it means to proceed. So let's proceed towards our next slide coming up tomorrow. Take care and that's all for today.